fun watching him load this truck. He's, uh, yeah, very precise about it. Everybody. Today I am uh, separating and breaking down a bunch of metal to take to the scrap yard. Been at it for a little while and I said, you know what, I'm going to do some video. I also got some stuff out on the road for sale because I'm trying to clean up my garage. As you can see behind me, it's a mess again. But yeah, I had these uh, saltwater chillers I broke down. I'm trying to get this fan off because that electric fan is worth more than this stuff. And then you take apart all your copper, you got wire here. Got the dirty copper there, got your clean copper there, got a bunch of aluminum, and yes, pans are aluminum. And I got a bunch of stuff I have to sort there, and then I got these two file cabinets that need to go, and all this old silverware I got from an estate, and most of this stuff I got from an estate, that's why it's, I'm not washing that, so I'm tossing it and getting some money for it. So yeah, I got all this stuff I gotta get apart, and that part right there is killing me. I already racked myself with the quite hard with a pry bar didn't feel so good I lost my breath and can still barely walk I'm not gonna tell you where I hit myself but I'm sure you can figure it out by the way I'm talking but anyways so yeah this is all iron and steel so it's not worth as much all that I sat down in my chair I just got it broke I'm like damn am I that fat now there was a thing busted on it but it was free so yeah I'm gonna scrap that out because I don't want it sitting in the house and just got to get this off. This started spewing all kinds of crazy oil, so I got to clean that up. I don't even know what that is, but it came off of the uh, saltwater chiller. So, yeah, I got the, all this stuff here. Like I said, I got some stuff sitting on the road for sale, an old vanity and a grill. Had somebody supposedly buying the vanity, but hasn't come back yet. She had to go to the bank. So, yeah, hopefully I can get my garage clean because I really want to get my Corvette out. Or my Corvette, my motorcycle out. Look at the day. It's gorgeous. It's warm out here. I got the Corvette. I need to take later for a drive and then I got my bike I want to get out and go for a ride but I gotta get all this crap out of the way first so let me get to work so if you're trying to tell the difference between metals copper and other stuff non-ferrous not magnetic tin steel iron magnetic aluminum not magnetic so that's how you tell the difference so this is cast aluminum that's a really expensive pan but it's garbage this was a, a griddle, but now that. And then these are uh, old, yeah, pie things, cookie cookie sheets. So those are going to go. This is going to end up being dirty aluminum because it's got the steel on it. Actually, that's aluminum too. Good. This one's going to be dirty aluminum. So, yeah. Actually, that one's magnetic, so that whole thing is steel. So there you go. That's how you tell the difference so you can separate your metals and get more money. So I got these old bicycles and these uh, tins here. Those are all going into the uh, regular metal out back. And then, like I said, and then I've got all this stuff. I still have to sort this box, but you can tell I've got quite a bit of good stuff here. I got tin, which goes out back. Actually, I don't even know what that is. I have to check it. It might be aluminum, but all this is all silverware, which is nasty. All that's going to the uh, out back because it's magnetic, so it's stainless steel. So it's not much. Got a finish going. Oh, this is my aluminum. There's a lot of aluminum in there, so even the cans, all the weight adds up, so get what you can. Haha, -ha, can, get it, never mind. Bad joke. Um, clean copper, dirty copper, electric motors. Electric motors are, I think, like, uh, I don't even know, a dollar something a pound, or I don't even know what they are. This right there is like three bucks a pound right now. You got your dirty copper, which is the wiring. It goes for a different price than this dirty copper, which is, yeah, I don't know how to understand it. Got the two file cabinets I got to get out of here. Um, I needed them. I wanted them. Now I don't have room for them. Don't need them anymore because I got other stuff. So these guys are going to go. And then that box has got to, or that tote's got to get put away somewhere back there. And make sure you wear gloves because I cut myself pretty good right there. It's deep, but it's not big. But it hurts like the dickens. So yeah, plus your hands get dirty with all the rust and oil. And got a big spot of oil in my driveway. Now I got to clean up. So there you go. And, uh, once I get all this in the car tomorrow, because I'm just sorting it today, so I can do all this tomorrow because it's Sunday and they didn't open yet. So they're closed on Sunday. So once I get it all into the car and to the scrapyard, 
I'll show you what this is, uh, see if it's worth my time and you guys make up your mind. Another little tip for you, if you got stuff like this that has ends on it, is you snip the ends off with some wire cutters or tin snips as I'm using, cause uh, yeah, just cut those ends off and that little bit of wire is worth more than it is with that. So if you tip, cut these ends off, if you're that, you know, like me, I like to cut things off, but I'll show you here in a second because I can't do it with one hand. There you go, you cut the winds off, the ends off. This wire is worth more now than it is with the ends on it because these are basically plastic. If you break them open, there is some metal on the inside. So I just toss them in the steel stuff and they don't know the difference because it's going out back. So yeah, that's one little trick to it. And your aluminum cans are another good one. Those are always good to have because People don't realize how much they add up. Make a lot of money off of aluminum cans. So I'm going through my stuff, didn't realize I had this. Shoot, that goes for 40 bucks on eBay. So guess what I'm gonna be doing? That's not going to the scrapyard. That's going to the, uh, yeah, that's going to the uh, eBay store. So I've had this old recliner sitting in my yard forever. I tried giving it away, nobody wanted it. So now I'm pulling all the screws out because this is all metal. That's about 30 pounds of iron right there. So you might as well go ahead and break it down and put it with all this because it doesn't seem like a lot, but when you add all this and all this, and these are really heavy, I got a couple hundred pounds of, probably about close to four or 500 pounds worth of metal. And I don't even know what the price of pound is right now, but you know, 30, 40 bucks adds up. Well, I look at it, the coppers, that thing right there, the dirty copper, Thing probably weighs 60 pounds that little bitty tin because there's two things in there that are heavy so let me get to getting the last of these bolts out so i can take this apart break it down put it in the dumpster or out to the farm and get it burned i don't know took the metal out and that thing collapsed just shows you how cheaply things are made it's all made to be broken and thrown away which is sad because this was like a 500 dollars chair so at least i'll get oh look ain't that pretty old centipede so yeah this gets to be yeah that's garbage i got a little bit of metal left on that but i don't even worry about that it's like not even a half an ounce so yeah i gotta take break this apart and get it gone so huh, my pile's ever growing this only weighs about 10 pounds that's 30 pounds on a 40 pound chair yeah so i got all this stuff here Got everything else in the garage, the expensive stuff. I gotta block this off so nobody steals it tonight before I can get it in the car. And then tomorrow morning, we're gonna take all this down to the scrapyard and see how much money we can make. So it's supposed to rain tomorrow, so I got everything in the car now so I can take it. So I got all of this entire back, which goes all the way up to the front. And it's stacked, and then I have all the really expensive stuff right here. Plus, there's a whole bunch of, uh, I'm not opening that door, a whole bunch of copper right there. So tomorrow, I get to find out how much money I make. I'm sure it won't be much, but it at least pays for gas and maybe help me cover lunch or something. But we'll find out. So I'm heading to the scrapyard here in a second. As you can see, the car is completely full. Plus, there's more on the passenger seat, so rambling couldn't come along. I barely got the seat back enough to drive, so this ought to be interesting. So, we'll see how much we get when we get there. I'll let you know. It's a busy day at the scrapyard. They're unloading all their scrap into a big old semi. Then they got a new crane, too. Woohoo! So, you never know what's going on here, so we gotta wait. Gotta line the cars. It's starting to rain again. It's been on and off all day. I was trying to get out here in between the rain, but hopefully I make it because I got that car full so we need to get this done it's fun watching them load this truck he's uh yeah very precise about it this is the main guy that runs it that's in it I can see him <laughs> yeah this is crazy how they're able to yeah he's squishing it down he picks up little pieces that might have or are on the edge which he'll probably grab that piece right there that's hanging over this is pretty cool to watch. I like this. It's a whole lot of fun. It's almost uh, mesmerizing. Whee! <laughs> Car frame. Or trailer. I think it's a trailer. So 
So yeah, you never know what you're gonna see at the uh, scrap yard. So I got everything unloaded, I got my payment. I had seven pounds of number two copper for $21, 27 pounds of uh, something for $5.40, 16 pounds of aluminum for $6.40, seven pounds of number two insulated, which was my wire, $4.90. And then I had a few hundred pounds, uh, or I had 300 and something pounds of regular scrap for 27, gave me a total of $64.70. So why am I showing this to you? Reason being, this is all stuff I had laying around my house that I just broke down. Um, some people just put it all in one, I broke it all down and I made a hell of a lot more money because if I hadn't, I would've only been getting about 30 bucks. So I made double my money for about an hour's time. So that's not too bad. And like I said, this is stuff just laying around my house or stuff that was given to me. Old computers I broke down. Um, just, yeah, a little bit of everything. So hope you guys learned something. Scrap metal is good. <laughs> Make sure you separate. Like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell, leave a comment. Thanks for watching. On a side note, I found this little ball bearing, and I know I'm weird, but I have a collection of ball bearings and I think some birdshot in there, I don't even know. But it's mostly ball bearings. Don't ask me why.